have worked with Mark Schiff many years in many different clubs all across the country. He is without question one of the best, funniest, brightest, strongest comedians I've ever seen. Doctor, tell me to fill out this form, put down emergency phone number. I put down 911. If I'm not available, this is the guy you gotta have. He's unbelievable. Hi, how are you? <laughs> This is the only guy. You've got to have this guy. Hi, this is Paul Reiser, and I just wanted to say a few words about Mark Schiff. Mark Schiff has been on our show mad about you, and not only been outstandingly funny on the show. Where are you heading? Pick up my wife. It's our birthday. Oh. You know, I was born in September. Were <laughs> you really? That's right, the 23rd. 23rd, well, there you go. It's a good day. <laughs> hey, want to get a bite to eat? You give a warm welcome to a great talent, Mark Schiff. Mark! Mark Schiff! Get ready to laugh as funny man Mark Schiff gives us his very unique perspective on being a husband and a dad. Please welcome the star of his own Showtime special, My Crummy Childhood. He's a very funny man, Mark Schiff. Showtime partly presents Mr. Mark Schiff. from New York originally, right? Originally New York. Uh, big difference living out here. We have the earthquakes out here. You don't have those in New York. In New York, when they want you dead, they just kill you, you know? <laughs> but we were in the quake a couple years ago. Thank God we were okay. But my uncle lived in a trailer park. Over 100 trailers completely destroyed. Over $60 worth of damage. It was very sad. <laughs> Our next comedian is, is the great Mark Schiff, who uh, is someone that I looked up to when I was uh, starting out. He was really funny. He's one of those guys who's a, 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 what I would say is a real pro. And my wife is so nervous, as soon as I get into bed, she's like, is the door locked? I just locked it, check it again. I just locked it, will you check it again? And I'm thinking, what are your legs, broken? So I'll get up, check the door, get back in bed. Is it locked now? No, I took the door off the hinges, we don't have a door. And I open the window, they'll be in in about five minutes. Thank you. I swear to God, one night she wakes me up the middle of the night and says, I think there's someone outside. I said, that's where they belong is outside. We're in here, they're out there. And if they come in here, we're going out there. I swear to God, you know what she said? Go outside. See what's going on. So I get up, she walks me to the door. I go out, she locks the door from the inside. Please welcome Mark Schiff. Thank you. Thank you. How are you, right? Good. I feel pretty good. I got my wife got me exercising again. I bought some exercise equipment. I bought an exercise bike. I didn't use it. Then I bought a treadmill. I didn't use that. Now I put the bike on the treadmill. I'm doing 500 miles a day now. I sit there in my underwear eating pizza watching the Home Shopping Network. And my wife and I got life insurance. I had to go to the doctor for a physical. I'm sitting in the waiting room. I'm nervous. I don't feel like talking. This old lady said, what's the matter? If you don't feel like talking, make up stuff. People will leave you alone. She said, what's the matter? I said, well, my right eye keeps popping out of my head. <laughs> Here it comes, lady. It's going to blow. Get out of the way. <laughs> then as soon as I see the doctor, I shake his hand. I don't know why I do this. Hi, doc. How are you? What's the matter? Big rash on my hand for a month. <laughs> and doctors ask you questions. Do you drink? Do you take drugs? Tell them yes to everything. 
Do you drink, sir? Yes, I do. How much? Tremendous amount. But how much? I'm in a blackout right now. I have no idea. Do you take drugs? Huh? What kind? What do you got? And they always ask you what kind of diet you're on. Make up the most horrible diet. Well, Doc, for breakfast I have a dozen eggs, four pounds of cheese, a pound of bacon, a couple of Slim Jims, a banana cream pie, then I smoke a couple of cigars and I jog uphill for an hour. Then I come home, I have a box of salt. Sea salt, because I know it's better for me. Six sticks of butter. Then I get some lard and actually rub it right on my heart. Then I take some Valium and I sit in the car with the engine running in the garage. I have no energy, Doc. I feel like the life has been sucked out of me. Doctor told me to drink a lot of water, too. I'm drinking a gallon a day, which means go to the bathroom 1,100 times a day. And I'm married. The other night, 4 o'clock in the morning, I get up, go to the bathroom. I walk back in the bedroom. I'm in my underwear. My eyes are closed. My wife says, where were you? I went hunting. I bagged an elk. He's in the living room right now. Where was I? I put a pool in. Let's go for a dip. You ever wake up four o'clock in the morning, look at the alarm clock, and immediately start doing math to figure out how much time you have left to sleep? <laughs> and I do better math out of a dead sleep than I do in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> middle of the afternoon, I can't figure out nothing. Four in the morning, like, three hours, seven minutes. <laughs> and depending on, depending on how much time you have left to sleep, you go back to sleep happy, depressed. You wake up, you got five hours left. Yeah! You wake up, you got a minute left. I'm going to kill somebody. One of the things my wife really hates, sometimes I get up at night, take a sip out of the orange juice, out of the container. I walk back in the bedroom, more questions. What were you doing? I had some orange juice. Out of the container? No, I used the glass. I didn't hear you wash the glass. I threw it out the window. It's in the pool. actually drunk orange juice out of the container and put a glass in the sink so it looks like I used the glass. <laughs> One of the things she hates more than anything in the world, 